we wrap up our time learning Photoshop in this class, I want to end by talking about how to video edit in Photoshop. Video edit in Photoshop? Yep. Why not just teach us Adobe Premiere? Photoshop can hear you. Like the animation unit in this class, we don't have time to learn the individual Adobe programs that specialize in these areas. So I didn't teach you After Effects in the animation unit, and I'm not going to teach you Premiere in this unit. We could, but then you'd learn just the very minimum of these other programs that we have other classes that teach. Shameless plug, you should totally take my video one course. My goal in this class has always been to teach you the depths of what you could learn inside of Photoshop, and that includes basic video editing. Similar to animation, Adobe has introduced very basic video editing capabilities inside the timeline panel. So we already know the timeline panel. So working with video should be kind of a natural evolution with what we've already done. So in this tutorial, I'm going to just show you how to get started with a video project inside of Photoshop. And then the coming tutorials, I'll show you how to actually edit, work with audio, and export your videos for the web. To start a video project in Photoshop, the first thing we have to do is create a brand new artboard. Now we've been working in the web preset tab with the web large artboard for most of our projects and exercises throughout the class. Now, while we could use a regular web large artboard, I'd rather explore the film and video preset tab that they give us already. Go ahead and click on film and video. That takes us then to a series of film and video presets that we can use. Now they have either 1080 or 720. Now these are the pixel dimensions of most HD videos. Now 720 is like HD of the early 2000s. We honestly need to forget that 720 even exists. For this class and for most things you do, you should be working in at least 1080. That means that the dimensions of our artboard are 1920 by 1080 pixels at 72 pixels per inch. You might be thinking, isn't that the same as web large? Yes, and I'll show you the difference when we create this. So we look over here, everything is the same as our web large. Let's go ahead and hit create. Now, technically, what we're looking at is the same as a web large artboard, but what it gives us are these guides. And these guides are the title action safe lines that most videos need to adhere to. And I'll explain these more as we start to create actual content for our video. But for now, just realize these guides are important. And if for some reason you don't see them, you can come up to view in the menu bar, come down to show and check guides and canvas guides, and that will make these appear. Now, if your timeline panel is not open, go ahead and open it now by going up to window in the menu bar and clicking on timeline. And then we want to create a video timeline, not a frame animation. So choose this little arrow here and click on create video timeline and then click on the physical button called create video timeline. That's going to create our new video timeline with layer zero that we see mirrored over here in our layer panel called layer zero. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to zoom into my timeline so I can start to see what I'm working with. It gives us a five second slug here on layer zero that's blank, but I want to be able to see that a little bit better. To zoom in, we can use our big mountain, little mountain icons down here at the bottom. I'm going to click big mountain to zoom in a little bit, and we can now see that this is a default of five seconds. Remember from our animation tutorials that the little letter F means frames, but this is not one frame. This is one second or 30 frames. So try to keep that in mind as we go. Now for this project, you're going to be making a video out of the audio from your podcasts. So it would make sense then that the first thing we should do is import our podcast audio. Now most of video editing is going to be importing content into our timeline so we can then manipulate it and edit it. And to import content, whether video or audio, we have two little icons here that I want to discern. We have this little film strip icon, which is the media icon. And we have this little music note icon, which is the audio icon. And we have little pull downs next to each of these. So if I pull down the media icon, we can see an add media option. Likewise, if I pull down the music note icon, we have an add audio icon. So to add our podcast audio, I'm going to click add audio. I'll navigate to where my audio is and I'll hit open. 
Now that opens up our audio in our audio track. And if I hit Little Mountain a few times, I can zoom out and I can see the length of this podcast, which is about three minutes. This is a sample podcast that I made for this class. Now we have audio to work with. Now we need to import some video. So the ultimate goal of this project is to add visual elements that support the audio of your podcast. So maybe as you're introducing yourself, you show your picture. Maybe as you're talking about um, a certain event, you show a picture of that event. Maybe you have text that comes on screen that kind of emphasizes a certain point. And then using keyframes, just like we've already learned, we can animate those things to move around on screen. This is the basis of this project. So now that we've made our video project, we've made our artboard, and we've imported our podcast audio, we can now get started importing visual elements using the Add Media button. And we'll do that in the next tutorial.